Well, hi, good morning. Thanks so much for joining me here in my shop. Today is August 9th. This is going to be a very, very quick video. I'm not going to try to fix this guy. I'm just going to show you what has gone wrong with it. So uh, this is a very nice amplifier. Uh, Mr. Internet regards it very well. This particular model, this particular unit, doesn't work. Now, last night I switched it on. I'm not going to do that now. I switched it on last night and within and using a restricted amount of power coming to it, it still produced a stream of smoke right up through here. Pretty exciting. So, what, you know, that's a little scary. I don't like to see smoke coming out of something like this. But, I decided to investigate a little bit and that's what I'm going to show you just, uh, just what exactly has happened here. Um, so, a little hard in the camera maybe from that distance but this resistor this large one is burned almost in two and the small one right here is burned um, these two resistors are in series you can see how they're wired uh, in here and uh, they connect to this transistor this is one of the driver transistors the output transistors are mounted on this big heat sink here so we can see the heat sink on here this is a driver Transistor took my own meter out, tested this resistor, uh, tra transistor, sorry, and sure enough, it's shorted. Okay, I went and tested the transistors over here, and one of them is shorted. Now on this side, they're good. The uh, it's a stereo unit, you know, the left channel, right channel, something like that. And the same transistors on this side test normally. You just using my. Uh, my own meter here on the I uh, left it on on the on uh, this setting. That's a that's a really neat setting on these units. You know, it uh, show you a short circuit. Well, if the transistor or diode you're testing is not short, it it shows you the junction voltage, which I think is kind of interesting. So that's the story. To to make this guy work again, it's a moth. <laughs> I would have to change the burned resistors, change this transistor and change the transistor here. And that's probably all it would take. The uh, start of this failure probably occurred in the output transistor, which developed a short. With a short there, this guy overheats and burns out and shorts. And then once this is shorted, the resistors, and they have their turn clicking. So that's the story. Like I said, I'm not gonna fix it now. I'm not normally doing transistor work, but I do have a pretty good stock of transistors, including output transistors. I, I may just have something, but I don't want to carry on with this right now because I'm in the middle of a big old tube radio, which I certainly enjoy working on a little more than these guys. So anyway, this amplifier is a Dynaco four-dimensional amplifier, which has an odd feature that I'm not too sure what they were talking about. They're literally a four-dimensional arrangement of speakers. I'm really not clear. Anyway, that's the story on that. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, get back to some tube, the tube radio.